Hi everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to find out the final velocities of the two bodies of equal masses. I am considering both bodies who are having equal masses. Having one dimensional, that means before and after the collision, they are going to move in the same one direction, one dimension. Elastic collision where both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. In this case of one dimensional elastic collision, if the bodies are having two different masses and they are traveling initially with velocities u1 and u2, and after the collision, if they are having velocities v1 and v2, in the previous video lessons we have derived equations for their final velocities after this one dimensional elastic collision. As v1 that is the final velocity of the first body after the collision is derived as m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 of u1 plus 2m2 by m1 plus m2 of u2. If you don't know this derivation, please look back for the previous video lessons of this same chapter work for an energy, you can find the derivation. Just to avoid being repetitive, I am not deriving that equation once again. I have also proved that the final velocity of the second body after the collision V2 as 2m1 by m1 plus m2 of u1 and m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 of u2. If you are not aware of these two derivations, please go through any of the video lessons that is available in the same playlist. You can find the derivation just above this uh, derivation, above this post. Now we are putting a condition. If two bodies are having equal masses, m1 equal to m2. So let us rewrite the above equations by putting this condition m1 equal to m2. So v1 will become actually m1 minus m2 now. m minus m by m plus m of u1 plus 2m by m plus m of u2. So m minus m is 0, 0 by something equal to 0. This is 2m by 2m itself u2. 2m 2m will cancel. v1 equal to nothing but equal to u2. That's for the first body. Similarly, let us write the equation for the second body. We know the equation for v2. Put the condition that m1 equal to m2 in that equation. Then v2 equal to 2m by m plus m of u1 plus m2 minus m1 but both are same m plus m of u2 so this term becomes 0 now this term becomes 2m by 2m of u1 so these two also will cancel so v2 is nothing but equal to u1 so if you try to understand what was actually happened in this one dimensional elastic collision it will be like this. The first body m1 of course which is equal to m moving with the velocity u1. Second body m2 who is also of course equal to m moving with the velocity u2 before the collision. See what has happened after the collision. The first body M1 is equal to M has got a velocity V1 who is equal to U2. Second body M2 who is equal to M has got a velocity V2 equal to u1. So you can clearly understand and notice that this u2 
as came to the first body. That is, initial velocity of the second body has become the final velocity of the first body. And the initial velocity of the first body became the final velocity of the second body. So, this is what the point that we need to know. Bodies of equal masses. If bodies of equal masses undergo one dimensional elastic collision if bodies of equal masses undergoes one dimensional elastic collision then they simply need to know it's an important term exchange their velocities exchange their velocities velocity of the first body is given to the second body and velocity of the second body is given to the first body after one dimensional elastic collision. So let us just consider an example to understand the meaning of this. Let us say there is one ball of mass m moving with a velocity v. There are so many other balls who are all in the state of rest. Assume all are in the state of rest. Now there is a one dimensional elastic collision. Assume these all balls are also identical. Now what is going to happen? The first ball will give its first ball is having a velocity v before the collision. Second body is having a velocity 0. There is an exchange of velocity that means first body will get the this will get the 0 velocity and second body will get that velocity v. Now the second body will go and collide with the third body. Now the second body velocity v is given to the third body the third body velocity 0 is taken by the first body like that the transfer will be keep on happening so this 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 and this all of them will be having velocities 0 and this last body will be getting that uh, velocity of the first body like that transfer of velocities happens between the bodies of equal masses in one dimensional elastic collision. It is simple like these two bodies have exchanged their velocities, these two bodies also exchange, these two bodies also exchange, these two bodies also exchange because they are all bodies of equal masses having one dimensional elastic collision. That is it. So the conclusion is bodies of equal masses if undergo one dimensional elastic collision there is an exchange of velocity between the bodies. That is the key point of this entire discussion. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons to this IITJE and Net Physics YouTube channel. Thank you.